Coburn Bible, Book 2, Gleanings, Chapter 15, Verse 44. A thought about body modification, whether it be tattoos, piercings, or transgender. This is a thought I had after reading this text. Please do not take this as me saying others should stop adjusting their body. I have no idea what they go through, but I feel strongly that changing your body seems extreme. It shouldn't matter what is outside. Clothes are one thing. Mutilating your body seems self-destructive and final. GLN 1544 those who turn away from the glorious jewel within to seek an outside God, a separate, unresponsive being, are looking for a mere trinket while disregarding the priceless treasure already in their keeping. Men of light worship the vision of light. Men of darkness and ignorance worship ghosts and dark spirits, demons of the night. There are men who, moved by dark beliefs or their carnal lusts and perverted passions, perform awful austerities and self-mutilations. Never ordained by me, they delight in tormenting the life and spirit within their bodies. They are truly deluded victims of the darkest form of ignorance. Yet, some derive pleasure from their pains and torments, and so continue them. But these may be truly described as mutilated souls. Some men follow gods who punish wickedness and reward good, and therefore tend towards goodness. But is it not folly to follow non-existent gods? All men choose their own spiritual destiny, whether it be done knowingly or not, for under the law their future state must rest in their own hands. I am the God who ordained the law, and nothing man can do will change it. My love alone mitigates the consequences of man's unredeemed wickedness. I am the changeless one. Could a god of love become a god of vengeance? Revenge is something alien to me. Therefore, is it reasonable that men should believe I could be one thing today and then because they fall into error become something else tomorrow? My nature is not as that of man. I am as I am. I have known a few transgendered individuals, even two who already underwent the surgery. I tried to understand what would make someone do it, but I never could. The couple post-op were two men who were now women and they married each other. Worse, they were the two most unhappiest people I ever met. It could be their experiences in life or the meds needed, but it seemed they truly were maimed and still unhappy after all the changes they went through. I'm overweight. Doctors recommend surgery, but tell me afterwards I would have to take vitamin substitutes for the rest of my life. It also does not guarantee it will last. I would like to be skinny, but my body is doing what it is supposed to do today, and after the surgery I would need constant outside substances to replace what the body already does today. I truly believe that surgery is a major decision not to be used to make you feel better. There is a reason you were born that way. But by cosmetically changing your outward appearance, you can't change who you fundamentally was born to be. By doing the surgery, you may find not only things are not better, but that your outward appearance will reflect the damaged soul within. You can mend your soul over time, but surgery cannot be undone by time or wisdom. What you do with your life and body is up to you. It always has and it always should be. I am not seeking to change your mind, only stating my understanding on the experiences I have had with others. Whatever path you choose will not be wrong, but each decision will create a new you that can never be undone. Make sure not to let desire for material senses make a hard life harder still. If you're born with two different dualities, I have to ask, is it possible that it was intentional and that the goal was for you to find a balance between the two and by changing one part to fall in line with the other part, in this case we're talking about the body, to change that into falling in line with what you think you should be, 
um, maybe you're failing to learn the lesson that was intended, which is how to find peace within yourself between those two warring sides. Anyway, that is, I hope, helpful to somebody. Thank you.